Over the years, Taylor Swift has been linked to several members of the now broken up boy band One Direction. Swift had a notable relationship with Harry Styles and worked with Zayn Malik on the song I Don't Wanna Live Forever. She was also connected with the late Liam Payne, who sadly passed away in October 2024. After hearing about his passing, a source shared with the Daily Mail that Swift intended to pay tribute to him during the last part of her era's tour. She's really upset about this since she grew up with those boys and had a lot of love for Liam, the source shared with the outlet, adding, he was always kind to her. Payne and Swift definitely had a friendly vibe and ran in similar circles. In fact, Swift's good buddy Ed Sheeran helped co-write Payne's first solo single, Strip That Down, back in 2017. Payne shared on Z100 New York the year that one of his favorite party stories was about Swift and Sheeran after a One Direction event. So, the superstars found themselves in the same elevator as Styles, Payne, and Payne's parents. So, the lift was going up, and Ed Sheeran kept turning to me and saying, Bass, he remembered. So, that's basically what he was saying. Bass. They had some great times together, but Swift and Payne's relationship wasn't without its bumps. There were definitely some rough patches, like that tense comment Payne made about Swift after the 2013 DMAs. Let's take a closer look at their highs and lows throughout the years. Taylor Swift and Harry Styles had a brief romance that sparked a bunch of hit songs for Swift, especially I Knew You Were Trouble. Back in August 2013, she snagged the Best Female Video Award at the MTV VMAs for that song, and it looked like she took a jab at Styles during her acceptance speech. I just want to give a shout out to the person who inspired this song, he knows who he is. And look, now I've got one of these, Swift said, as the camera zoomed in on Styles, who was there too. Earlier that evening, Swift seemed to say shut the fuck up when One Direction came on stage to present an award. After the VMAs, Liam Payne, who was sitting next to Styles, chatted with us weekly about Swift mentioning his former bandmate during her acceptance speech. I just felt like it wasn't really necessary when a reporter asked if he thought the 22 singer's behavior was lame, Payne replied, yeah. Liam Payne might have thrown some shade at Taylor Swift during her VMA acceptance speech back in 2013, but it looks like Swift didn't let it bother her. Back in 2017, Payne and Swift were hanging out at Capital FM's Jingle Bell Ball in London. Even though they didn't chat in front of everyone since Swift was busy performing and Payne was chatting with reporters on the red carpet, Payne did share a nice little story about Swift that made fans feel good about their relationship. She sent me this really nice little hamper with her new reputation gear after the last show we did, along with a sweet little note Payne shared with On Demand Entertainment, her handwriting is really nice, assuming she actually wrote it. He confessed he wasn't sure if the beautiful penmanship was really hers, considering someone with Swift's wealth could easily hire someone to write personal notes and gorgeous calligraphy. On X, formerly known as Twitter, fans who know about Swift's relationship with Payne's bandmate Harry Styles weren't too happy to find out that Payne and Swift were exchanging gifts. What the? One fan said. Someone else mentioned that they thought Payne was letting Styles down. Liam, come on. Please don't go down that road like Zayn did. You know what Harry had to deal with. Please don't do this to him, the user said, talking about Zayn Malik's collaboration with Swift that year on I Don't Want to Live Forever. Back in April 2023, Liam Payne showed his love for Taylor Swift during a fun music game with Tommy Fury at Soccer Aid for UNICEF. In a TikTok of their interaction, Payne begins to hum We Are Never Getting Back Together, and Fury quickly picks it up and names it right away. I really shouldn't know these songs, Fury jokes while Payne keeps singing and dancing along. I had no idea Liam was a Swifty, oh my gosh, commented one fan. Even though Swift and Harry Styles split in 2013 and it seemed like there was some distance between her and One Direction, it looks like they managed to move past it over time. Back in 2023, Swift and Styles were spotted chatting at the Grammy Awards, and Swift was even seen dancing during Styles' performance. It's great to see that Swift and Styles managed to reconnect, and it's nice that Payne and Swift were getting along before his passing too.